Society Sons American Revolution. I'm also the chaplain, so I would like to open us with an invocation. And I read from the Atkin Bible, the Bible of the Revolution, from Galatians chapter 6. Be not deceived, God is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, he shall also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the Spirit that of the Spirit be life everlasting. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not, as we have therefore opportunity let us to do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. And Father God, we are very thankful to be on this beautiful spot here in Dunbarton, precious place, commemorating the life of Major Caleb Stark, a great New Hampshire native, a great American, a great hero. And we thank you and we praise you in Christ's name. Amen. And I would like to call upon the previous president of our society, Bob Walsh, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And at this time, I also would like to call upon. Molly Stark chapter, the Daughters of the American Revolution, and she's going to read the proclamation issued by our governor, Chris Sununu. Whereas General John Stark is one of New Hampshire's heroes and favorite native son, and whereas General John Stark was an important military leader in the Revolutionary War and is widely considered the hero of the Battle of Bunker Hill. And whereas General John Stark served as Brigadier General of New Hampshire's militia during the Revolutionary War and was instrumental in rallying citizens of New Hampshire and New England to the cause of the independence. And whereas General John Stark su summarized New Hampshire's independent spirit and commitment to freedom and liberty, and for all those coming, coining the phrase, live free or die, death is not the worst of evils, as our state model. And whereas New Hampshire continues to honor General John Stark's legacy by using live free or die as our state model, and whereas General John Stark was a true patriot who will always be remembered for his loyal and dedicated service both to our state and our nation. Now, therefore, I, Christopher T. Sununu, Governor of the State of New Hampshire, do hereby proclaim April 24, 2017, as General John Stark Day in New Hampshire. I there put, set my hand and caused the seal of the State of New Hampshire to be affixed to this document on the 10th day of April, 2007, signed Christopher T. Sununu, Governor. And just for a point of information, the reason why the governor and all previous governors issuing the proclamation is because
Stark Day is a New Hampshire holiday, though people don't know many times and have not gotten the day off. Our New Hampshire Revised Statutes 413-1 say it is Stark Day. So that's why we're here and I call upon Bob Walsh to give us a little bit of an overview of this great man who is buried in this town of Major Caleb Stark. Thank you, Gary. We could teach a whole course on the American Revolutionary War just by talking about Caleb Stark. When the war started, he was 15 years old and lived just down this road, cornered with the blinking light. And his father was a commander of the New Hampshire troops in the siege of Boston. And the whole city of Boston was surrounded, and the, and the New Hampshire troops were up on the north side in, in Medford and Melrose area. And Caleb Stark got on a horse and rode down to meet his father at the camp in Medford. And was part of the Battle of Bunker Hill, where, where there were more New Hampshire troops than troops from any other state. Caleb followed the army through 1776, which was not a good year for the Patriots around New York. They got beat up. But at the end of the year, there were two decisive victories when Washington crossed the Delaware in Trenton and went on to Princeton for another victory, and Caleb Stark was with him. And so was John Stark, his father. At the end of that year, John Stark retired, and Caleb stayed as an officer in the military throughout the entire war. And that war lasted from 1775 to 1783. That was nine years he served. He was at Bunker Hill, Princeton, and he was also at Saratoga, one of the most important battles of the Revolution, where we stopped the British coming down from Canada trying to divide the colonies in half. After his retirement, he was a legislator, he was a historian, and he started a cotton mill in Suncook, New Hampshire, which is a His business interests eventually took him out to Ohio, where he died, but he is back here and buried in New Hampshire. So we salute a true patriot and true <coughs> founder of our republic by being here with Caleb Stark statue today. Now I'm going to call on Cameron Faulkner, who I have the, I have the proud moment to say he's also my grandson, a member, a junior member of the New Hampshire Sons of the American Revolution, and also the children of the American Revolution, and he is a native New Hampshire person, born and raised here, and he's going to lay the wreath. call upon our New Hampshire Sons of the American Revolution color guard for a musket salute. Present.
Before I deliver our benediction today, I want to thank you so much for joining us here. I also want to mention if any of you in this crowd today, or any of you that are uh, watching by video, because I know it's being videoed, if you have somebody that you're related to directly that fought in the Revolutionary War on the right side, of course, the right side, the colonial side. No Tories allowed, yes. Uh, then please see us. We're always inspiring people to join our organization. And of course, that would also be children, the children of the American Revolution, God is the American Revolution, and of course those that are sons of the American Revolution. And if you'd be so kind, you that are taking photographs today, we're always looking for good photographs so we can post on our website. And so we will have a little time after before we break up here today to have some more photo ops, as they call that. Glad to do that. Um, some of the folks here, including General Stark, will probably want to sign autographs, so <laughs> we'll be glad to do that. <laughs> Let's pray. But always, as we're glad to declare, we'll have no other king but King Jesus, because he's the only king that can be trusted. And also, we're very thankful as we stand here on this lovely day, you gave us great weather. And that we can truly say, we know some real heroes. John Stark, Caleb Stark, heroes then that are still heroes today. And Lord, we ask, in Christ's name we pray, we could have more heroes, not basketball stars and football stars, but some real heroes that would say the very same thing. That live free or die, for death is not the greatest of evils. Amen. Amen.